Hello and welcome. The game I want to show you today is Heroium Slava, the Russian Ukrainian War. This is a uh, card driven board game that focuses on the Russian Ukrainian War. It is a, a PC game that you can download from each. Uh, it can be downloaded for free or for uh, pay what you want. Uh, so if you like, you can give an author, for example, five dollars. I think it is a good, good price for this uh, nice uh, little game. And now, uh, today I would like to show you the basics of this game. This game has two versions, beginner, standard and expert. Today I'm going to focus on beginner version and maybe next time we will go to standard and expert. Each version is different uh, when it comes to the number of days. So beginner is definitely the shorter version and it is easier because you need only 2,000, uh, uh, 200 victory points to win the game. Uh, each, uh, version, each other uh, version comes with additional options and uh, more cards and it is longer and of course harder to win. So in this game you are controlling uh, Ukraine and Russians are coming at you from all the directions. And uh, first of all, let's focus on the basics. Uh, your main tool are action points. You are using them in the various ways, mostly to play your cards, you spend two, uh, pay, uh, two action points uh, per card, or to focus. You may spend a fo focus to reduce the enemy presence in the certain uh, uh, oblasts, it means provinces, of Ukraine. You can see that each uh, oblast has different color. The blue is the best and uh, the dark uh, brown is the worst. So you want your uh, oblasts uh, to become uh, blue. And notice that each oblast has its capital here. Uh, and each capital has a number of cells. And uh, when, uh, when all the cells are uh, not uh, green, they turn black and then it, it means that this capital is controlled by the enemy. If three or more capitals are controlled by the enemy, then you start losing your morale. Morale is pretty important because uh, the higher mo your morale is, the more action points you get uh, uh, in the game. You can increase your morale by cards or by spending four action points per turn. So this is quite uh, expensive. Uh, this uh, this uh, beginner version comes with uh, 14 uh, turns and you can, here you can see the number of points Russians get each turn and they can use them to attack our positions. So. Let's start the game and I will explain everything uh, as the game goes on. So, we are starting with uh, begging turn, draw card. We get one card uh, that we can play or to keep uh, for ourselves. Ah, <clears throat> two more things I should uh, for, uh, mention. First is the war bonus. This is, uh, uh, this is something that we award at the end of each uh, turn. And uh, this, uh, this uh, allows us to get additional uh, victory points. Next, we have victory points. Victory points uh, is something we need to win the game. And uh, to win, uh, we need at last 200 uh, points. This will be our uh, best victory in this scenario. And finally, peace value. Peace value is something that has not uh, influence on the game itself, but in the certain situations, it allows us to gain additional victory points. So it is good to make it rise and not to make it fall. So let's start our uh, turn. We get these cards and next move to the next phase. Oh, <laughs> well, yes, one more thing. Uh, you can see that here uh, all the names are in uh, Ukrainian. If you want, you can click here with a right button and you get them in uh, English. Well, this is not a big deal for me since I learned Russian uh, when I was at the high school, so I know uh, Russian uh, letters. 
not not good enough to speak in Russian, but uh, good enough to read in Russian. So that's not a problem for me. But if you need, there is an option to change them into English. Okay. So next turn is the Russian advance. In this turn, Russians are attacking our uh, oblasts, and you can see that they are changing colors. Here, you can see the rolls Russians get, and this tells us how effective their attacks were. So Donetsk is getting dark blue, uh, dark brown, so this means that this is uh, the worst. So it is going to be controlled by Russians in no time. Uh, Kiev uh, is getting yellow, no good, and Kherson is getting uh, orange, uh, getting beige, not bad. So let's move to the next phase, and this is a phase where Russians can play their own card. Uh, this is the card Chernihov Sumy, and Russian reserves attack Sumy and Chernihov. Ukrainian morale goes down, Russian occupation goes up by one, and city health go da goes down by one. And third, next, we have three options. Hello. Uh, using this option <coughs> means that enemy can play this card. Block. We can spend four action points, this is a pretty big number, to block this card. Or we can provoke. Provoke allows us to block this card instantly, but it makes our nuclear uh, matter goes one up and it, if it reaches the top the game is lost because putin goes angry and he goes kaboom kaboom with nukes so this is something we would rather like to avoid but at the beginning of the game using provoke is sometimes a very good idea but not now i'm not going to uh, use it i'm going to allow russians to do so all right so he's they are using it here and you can see that chernikov and Sumy are in problem. So <clears throat> we are moving into the next phase and this is our main phase and this is the phase where we are using our cards, our focus, etc. etc. We can also draw additional card by spending three action points for that. Okay, so what I'm going to do I will play Russian warship go yourself and this cost me four two action points and I got plus one to my morale, and plus one in Hersoin. So, you can see that Hersoin turned yellow, and my morale is now the best. <coughs> Next, I am going to spend two points for Sumy, and two points for Chernihov. So, that's all, and I have no more action points, I am moving into next phase. So Russians are continue, continuing their progress. Uh, oh, first story. First of all, uh, we have uh, information about uh, our cards and situation and the summary of our victory points that we get this turn. Okay, so we get Anonymous. This is good because uh, it allows us to reduce enemy reinforcements by three. So this is something we would like to use, because notice that we are in, this, in the moment of the game where Russians are, where Russian forces are strongest. Later, they will get weaker, but here they are the strongest, so using this card will be definitely a good idea. Okay, <clears throat> so they are attacking, oh, well, not a surprise, and then move to the next phase, Russian event. Okay, no, no, we don't want to. Donetsk People Republic. Minus 10 victory points if Donetsk is brown or Donetsk turn brown, turns brown. Yes, Donetsk is brown, so if we would allow Russians to play this card, we will lose 10 victory points. So, no! I'm going to play Provoke and they cannot play it. So, move to the next phase and <clears throat> here we are. First of all, I'm playing Anonymous. And you can see that the best Russian uh, turn, when they get six points, was uh, lowered by three. So that's good. That's, that's what we wanted. We have five points left. So I'm going to play them in Kiev. And then hmm, I think Sumy might be a good idea because you can see that uh, 
it has only four cells and one is lost so that's what I'm going to do and I have one <coughs> action point left uh, this action point it comes to me uh, into next turn so that's fine so move to the next turn you can see that uh, Sume and Chernikov are now all green again that's good and we are moving into next turn oh that's a pretty good card I might use it if I will be able to <coughs> so now move to the next phase and Russian advance oh that's bad well Russians are pretty strong now so uh, move to the next phase the convoy no <coughs> uh, this lowers Kiev held by two and minus occupation of Kiev two no provoke again uh, feel free to use provoke at the beginning of the game but you will have to, uh, especially when the Russians are the strongest later you will have just to remember to not let this go to the final part this is a risky tactics certainly but sometimes it is worth of that so we have eight points that's pretty good and now time to uh, to go what I'm going to do first of all I'm going to go into Dnipro and I'm going to make it blue I'm blue da da di da and next I will play Ukrainian counter offensive why notice turn neighbor of blue oblast to blue so if we have a blue oblast we can play this card and change any other oblast into blue <laughs> you can you can already tell what I'm going to do yeah we are going to run our counter offensive straight into Donetsk yeah Donetsk is returning to the motherland and now I need to get my Kyiv back so move to the next phase and you can see that Donetsk is slowly coming back to our control I don't think that Russians will allow us to keep it for longer but let's see this game is pretty random you can never tell what's going on and what will going on so uh, of course you can prepare certain tactics but this, like I said this is not a game when you can play like a chess you will never know what's going on Ukraine bans all male citizens okay, ages 18 to 60 from leaving the country of course the problem is that we have a small number of victory points uh, oh another nice card Biden is going to send us some money okay move to the next phase well, Russians aren't attacking very strong because well they have only three points now thanks to anonymous group and Kiev Harkov I will allow them to and uh, move to the next phase and now I'm going to play this card to get seven action points okay I have 12 now so I will get Kharkiv back get Kiev back and I wonder <coughs> Donetsk is fine I will get Mariupol and Sumy okay that was a major Ukrainian counteroffensive thanks to the US money and yeah Biden sent us some money good old Joe <laughs> so that oh this card uh, allows us to uh, low, uh, to get morale higher but well we don't need morale now because our morale is the strongest already so that's that's not a card we would like to get and same goes to this oh sorry as for this card it lowers our morale by one actually but uh, allows us to spend one action point to focus so normally we spend two action points to focus on a certain oblast but playing this card lowers our morale by one but uh, lowers our uh, focus cost by one as well okay Russians oh they are focusing on Chernihov so 
Yeah, Chen Yihuf and Sumi. No good, no good. But I'm not going to provoke anymore, so I will let them go. And now, I'm going to play this card. No quiet place on earth, expect the grave. Okay, and now, we are getting back to Nihuf at all cost. Good, and Sumi. Won't let them <coughs> get this oblast, oblast that easily. And the good news is that it was uh, the last uh, stage of the Russian strongest attacks. So currently they are going to get their attacks weaker. So this is not bad. But the problem is here, because the nuclear level is dangerously high. Okay. Oh, this is a great card. I wish we would get it more, more often. Uh, I will show you how it works later. But as for now, move to the next phase. Now they are attacking and Kherson seems to be in problems. Uh, their card, Donetsk, Ugaisk. Okay, hello. And now, uh, how this card works. Uh, if you play this card, you get your peace value added to your victory points. I remember playing a game when I get four, four, four of these cards, or even five of these cards, per game and my victory points jumped and increased amazing amazingly but well today we haven't that luck so i will play it of course because it will increase my victory points by 42 so we have we have 72 now fantastic okay and uh, when it comes to our other actions hmm. sume and donetsk I won't let them get Donetsk that easily. Lugansk seems to be uh, capture, captured by Russians and there is little I can do about it. Okay. Plus, oh, oh yeah, that's something we want. Minus two nuclear and plus one to morale, fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I will provoke them because I will use this card uh, soon. And now, first I'm going to play this card. So nuclear goes minus two and morale goes plus one. Voila, Putin is not so eager to use the, his nukes now. And next, I need to lower my uh, danger, uh, level of danger in Kyiv and I feel sorry about uh, Kherson and Mikhoyev is also in danger well I haven't enough st uh, strength to uh, focus on all directions so I will try to lower danger in Kherson not sure if it is best idea but we have to keep and move on so, next turn. Oh, here, again, again this card. Like I said, it, there, was, uh, there are situations when you get a big number of these cards and they are making your victory points uh, uh, increase like crazy. So, move to the next phase. Uh, okay. Kyiv. Let's provoke, and now gonna play uh, this card again to get more victory points. That's great. And now we have five, so we can uh, focus on the two regions here and here. <clears throat> Move to the next because we have only one point left, so we cannot do much. Okay, draw two cards, so not bad, but I, we, we will see what Russians are going to do. Mm 
Donetsk, Lugansk. Well, all of them. Okay. And now, do I want to play it and get two cards, or do I want to focus to use my car my points on focus? I think I will use on focus because the situation is getting dangerous. We can have five five cards on our hand, so I don't uh, I can keep it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's a good card, and we might uh, use it. So move to the next. Okay. Kherson, Mariupol, here, okay, that's all, and next, uh, time for us to go, I will play this Ukrainian offensive and I am getting Kherson back, and now <clears throat> I will play two actions to get to stop Russian advance on Sumy. Odessa and Mariupol cannot be attacked. Well, not sure if these are the uh, uh, regions where Russians are going to focus their advance. We will see. I believe they are focusing on Kiev now. Oh my! Minus 30 victory points. Oh. Okay, we'll take that risk. The game is about to end soon, so I'm not go well, I don't wanna to lose 30 victory points. Okay, so I have seven victory points, seven action points now. So that's my move. <clears throat> I, 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 I'm waiting for some better cards, actually, so not, uh, not going to do so much now. Okay. Kiev cannot be attacked. That's good. That's good. Because Russians are definitely focusing on Kiev. Okay. Ooh. So, uh, look at this card. It got, if Russians will play it, uh, they got plus two nuclear, so it will go with kaboom for us. So we have to uh, make uh, to block it. We cannot nuclear because it will uh, end our game. So we can only block it with our action points. No good. Uh, okay, and now move. I will play this card to protect Kiev. And I will remain with one action point. Not much, but we are we are coming, uh, getting close to end. So I think this is going to end soon without nuclear war. Okay, we might get some additional uh, victory points. Well, hello. Okay, we get plus two for each blue or dark brown or blast. So this one is blue and let's play this card. So, wow, we get 45 victory points now. So we moved through the uh, the border of the our minimal victory. No, nope, not bad. <clears throat> but you can tell that uh, Kharkov is almost completely lost now. Wugansk is captured. Uh, Mikhailov is close uh, to be captured by Russians. So definitely, this is not a situation I would call good. Uh,
we are still struggling. Oh, five action, eight action points now. Thank you, Joe. So move to the next phase. Oh, oh, oh. we will need this point, <laughs> definitely. Kherson Mariupol, okay. Not going to provoke, definitely. I will allow them, since these are these are going to be yellow, so not, this is still not critical. And now I will draw this card, so I will get eight points. And hmm, here. there and there okay so this is the end of the game we get 108 victory 101 uh, and 81 victory points so ukrainians resist and surprise russia which appears to have at best a tenacious grasp even on its previous holdings while this war may contain many surprises to come, the first weeks have given notice of the international community that Ukraine, Ukraine intends to fight for every inch of its soil. Okay, so I think this is quite, quite good. Not perfect, of course, but because you need 200 victory points to get a perfect victory. <clears throat> but looking at the board, I think it's pretty good. Because, well, we lost uh, Wugansk and Kharkov. That was uh, predictable because uh, <clears throat> you are usually going to lose Wugansk and Donetsk. Uh, Kharkov is quickly net next to go. Mariupol and Kherson are always uh, are often also very easy to lost. <clears throat> but if you hold uh, Kiev and Odessa, this is uh, good. And holding Dnipro. Mm, is always uh, uh, very important. I noticed this later because notice that Dnipro has a connection with many, many other <coughs> oblasts. So if you will get a, a counter offensive card, you can use it and to get a control over any of these uh, oblasts nearby as long as Dnipro is blue. So holding Dnipro is uh, very, uh, very vital if you want to uh, win the game. Okay, that would be all when it comes to the beginner version. Like I said, this game has uh, two more uh, uh, variants and the next time I will show you the full version that comes with many additional options, many uh, additional cards. Uh, this version is also longer and definitely harder to win. But uh, for today, that's all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.